Transcribed and brought to you by three wonderful products of the Kraft Food Company. Kraft Dairy Fresh Caramels, Kraft Chocolate Flavored Malted Milk, and Kraft Famous Ice Cream Mix Frizz. Yes, here's Rock the Andrews and all the gang. Now for our weekly visit to Riverdale. It's early Saturday afternoon as we look in on the Andrews home, and we find Mrs. Andrews working in the living room. But you're not sure. That's right, dear. The man who went out to mow the grass in that backyard an hour ago was young and vigorous. The man you're talking to now is old and feeble. <laughs> Fred, you're just a little tired. And hot. Mary, open a window. It's stifling in here. Well, Fred, all the windows are open. Well, turn a fan on. Well, we don't need a fan. It's very comfortable in here. Comfortable? Mary, I feel like I'm on fire. But it's not that... Hmm... Fred, did you take your shirt off while you were mowing the grass? Well, sure. It was so darn hot out there. I had it. I was afraid of that. Fred, turn around. Now, Mary, what are you doing? Just looking down inside your shirt to see your back. Haven't you ever seen my back before? Yes. Yes, but not like this. Like what? Like what I was afraid of. Fred, we might as well face it. You got a sunburn that would make an embarrassed lobster look pale. Mary, are you sure? Fred, I'm positive. Unless your grandfather was an Indian. But I was only out there for an hour or so. I don't see how I'd get sunburned so quick. Well, you did. Why did you ever get your shirt off? You know perfectly Hi, well you... Oh, hello, Archie. Hello, Archie. Mary, I... I... How's the boy? Oh, Archie. <laughs> don't do that. You with that? What's wrong with a friendly little pat on the back? I don't call that a friendly little pat, and I have a bad sunburn. Sunburn? Oh, gee, what you do? Yes, I do. Now, Fred, please... never mind arguing with Archie. We've got to put something on that burn right away. Put something on it? Mary, what can you put on it? Some ointment. Ointment? Yes, sunburn ointment to take the sting out of it and heal the burn. Archie, you run down to the drugstore and get some. Who, me? Yes, Archie. Oh, but Mom, I want to go swimming. Archie, and it's late like... now, and Archie, I haven't been swimming Archie, all week. All right. So you want to go swimming, and you haven't been swimming all week. But it won't take you all afternoon to run down to the drugstore, and your father will give you a quarter. I sure am. Mary, who will give him a quarter? You will. I... But he just got his allowance. Ted, I... do you want something for your son, Bernard? You just want to sit here in blister. Oh, me. All right, Archie. Go to the drugstore, and I'll give you a blister. I mean, a quarter. She was okay. I'll go. But, Dad, the next time you get sunburned, I wish you'd do it on a rainy day. Well, a sunburn, as everybody knows, is no fun. But everybody also knows that eating those luscious, chewy, soft, craft Dairy Fresh Caramels is fun. Plenty of fun. Just remove the cellophane wrapper from one of these delectable candy treats and pop it into your mouth. You'll be raving in no time at all over the rich caramel flavor and wholesome, chewy, soft goodness. Believe me, you'll love them. Here's why. First of all, Kraft uses only the finest ingredients in this fine candy. Then they follow a very special caramel-making recipe developed by Kraft. It's a secret, of course, but I do know they use lots of fresh, sweet milk in making these bite-sized caramels. That makes them extra nourishing, keeps them chewy, soft, gives them finer flavor. Then, they're individually wrapped to protect their freshness and packed in one-pound bags and six-piece bars. Look for Kraft Dairy Fresh Caramels at food stores and candy counters wherever you live. See for yourself how extra good a caramel can be, but be sure they're made by Kraft. Those are the Dairy Fresh kind. Now back to Archie, who has had to postpone his swimming trip while he runs down to the drugstore to get something for Mr. Andrews' sunburn. Oh, fine time to have to go to the drugstore. A fine time, just when I'm in a hurry. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Well, then I can go swimming anyway. Oh, 
boy, just look at the crowd in here. And all those people at the drug counter. Next. She was, I'll never get waited on. Hi, Archie. She was Jughead. Would you expect Dr. Kildare? <laughs> no, Jughead. I did not expect Dr. Kildare or you either. What are you doing here, Archie? Well, my father got a sunburn, Jug, and I got to get some ointment for him. But from the looks of this crowd, I'm liable to be here all afternoon. Oh, it's not so bad, Archie. I've only been here five minutes, and they waited on a lot of people. Oh, that's good. Are you the last one in? Uh-huh. Oh, swell. I'll get behind you, Jug. Then maybe I can get out of here quickly. What's the hurry? Because, Jug, I want to go swimming. Swimming? Gee, we should do. Uh-huh. Hey, listen, didn't that customer he's waiting on come in here after us? I don't know. Oh, but listen, Archie, I think I'll go swimming with you. Okay, Jug, but i got to take the ointment home first. So why don't you get your suit and meet me at my house? Okay, Archie, I'll go home and get it right now. Bye. Goodbye. But listen, Jug, aren't you waiting to buy something? Not me, Archie. I only came in the drugstore because it's air conditioned. Because? You mean I've been waiting here for... Oh, no. Mary, what's taking that boy so long? Fred, I have no idea, but we'd better not wait for him. We'd better put something on your sunburn right now. Like what? Like this vinegar. Vinegar? Mary, I don't want to put vinegar all over me. Fred, the important thing in a sunburn is to catch it right away. And if we put the vinegar on you now, it'll take some of the soreness out before Archie gets back. But Mary, I... Fred, I'm only trying to help you know. But I... Oh, me. All right, Mary, put vinegar on me. Put tartar sauce on me. Put ketchup on me. But get it over and done with. All right. Now, I'll just dab it on with this cotton. Dip. All right. Be careful now. I... <laughs> hey, Mary, that tickles. Fred, stop squirming. You stop tickling me and I'll stop squirming. <laughs> oh, you're killing me. I'll be through in a minute. Now, turn around so I can do your chest. <laughs> Mary, stop now. Now, Mary, don't. <laughs> There. I'm all through. Now, how do you feel? Like a dish of sauerkraut. <laughs> Never mind. This will make you feel much better. Oh, dear. Now, who can that be? Well, Mrs. Andrews, is Archie ready to go swimming yet? Oh, Jughead. No, Archie isn't back yet. Uh, but come on in. Okay. It's Jughead, dear. Oh, hello, Jughead. Oh, hello, Mr. Andrews. How? Mr. Andrews, you smell. <laughs> I smell. Jughead, I do not smell. That's vinegar. Vinegar? Yes, vinegar. I have a bad sunburn, and Mrs. Andrews put vinegar on it. Gee, Mrs. Andrews, did you really put vinegar on Mr. Andrews? Yes, Jughead. Anything wrong with that? Well, I don't know. My Uncle Oscar had a bad sunburn once, and he put vinegar on it. What happened? He died. Oh, that's... A... What? He died. Jughead, you're fooling. I am not. Neither was Uncle Oscar. I think it's bad for sunburn. It makes oh. the burn worse. Worse? Sure, it dries the skin. Dries the skin? It makes it blister. Blister? Then blood poisoning sets in. Blood poisoning? Oh, dear. Fred, maybe vinegar is the wrong thing. Well, if it's going to give me blood poisoning, it doesn't sound like the right thing. <laughs> now, Fred, don't be funny. What do we do? Call a night attack. Just be quiet. <laughs> well, uh, Fred... We'll just have to get some soap and water and wash it off. Right on now, Mary. I it can't. is the only way. I... I'll get a pot of soapy water and a water. Bottle. But Mary, I see you. Oh me. How do I get into these things? I bet that's what my uncle Oscar said when he put him in the coffin. Just... <laughs> Judge, this is no time for jokes. Okay, Miss Sanders, okay. Oh, but do you want me to call my mother and ask her what you should put on sunburn? No, Judge, don't bother your mother about it. Oh, no trouble, Miss Sanders. No but trouble. But Jughead, I open water here. Now, you stand still while I sponge that vinegar off. Mary, I... Fred? Just... Oh, me. All right, Mary, sponge the vinegar off. At least I won't smell like a pickle anymore. Now, Fred, turn around so I can oh. wash your back. All right, but I don't know how I let you talk me to it. Oh, Mary, that's freezing. Oh, Fred, mm. it had to be cool. Oh. You can't put hot water on a sunburn and stand still. Well, hurry up. All right, all right. Just a little more. Oh. There. I'm all finished. Mm. Now, was that so bad? Oh, no. That, that was fine. Delightful. It was. Awesome. Is. Oh, what did your mother say, Doug? She said it wasn't vinegar they put on my uncle Oscar after all. It was soap and water. Good. It's soap and water. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Jughead, are you sure? Uh-huh. She says vinegar is fine for sunburn. The acid oh. takes all the sting out. Oh, dear. Fine. How can you be another... Fred, what's the matter? Mary, that cold water gave me a chill. 
Where are the issues? Uh, positive. I, really? He must be caught. He's not been so hard to playing Christmas carols. Just, just don't be funny. Oh, dear, your teeth are chattering. Oh, the sunburn ointment. Oh, gee, never mind the sunburn ointment. Now, run back to the drugstore and get something for a chill. For a what? A chill. Gee, who wants a chill? Nobody wants one. Your father has one. He wish that you do. I, I, I sure do. In this weather? I Archie, mean... never mind the questions and go back to the store, dear. But, Mom, I just went all the way down there and back. Archie, and I want to go swimming in a few minutes. Archie, and I know... a long walk to the Archie, for store. pity's sake, don't argue. Now go back to the store and your father will give you another quarter. Another quarter of it. Mary, I... This is I, no time I, to I, argue about quarters. You can't stand here and shiver like that. I, now, Archie, go ahead. Gee whiz, okay, Mom, I'll go. But I sure wish Dad would make up his mind whether he's hot or cold. She was just when I'm all set to go swimming, I have to go back to the drugstore. Oh, and look at that. It's just as busy as it was before. Boy, I'll never get waited on. I'll probably... Archie, hello. Well, Betty, what are you doing here? Well, Mother wanted some drug supplies, so I came down to get them for her. What are you doing here? Well, my dad has a bad sunburn, and, well, Mom wants me to get something for his chills. Well, this line isn't moving very fast, is it? Well, we've waited on lots of people since I came in here. Oh, Uh, good. I'm in an awful hurry. How come? Well, I want to go swimming. Swimming? Mm Mm-hmm. Golly, Archie, I was just thinking what a swell day this is for swimming. May I go with you? Sure, buddy, if I ever get waited on. Well, golly, thanks, Archie. We'll have a wonderful time. Yeah, sure. I love swimming better than anything else. Me too. Hey, where'd that customer come from? He wasn't here before. But I hate to go swimming alone, don't you? Yes, Betty. I'll go right home, Archie, and get my bathing suit and meet you at your house. So long. Uh, but, Betty, what about the things you wanted to buy? Things I wanted to buy? Well, Archie, I already bought them. I was on my way out when you came in. On your way out? You mean I was standing in the wrong line again? Oh, no. No, 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 Mary, what's taking Archie so long? Fred, I don't know, but put this blanket around you until it gets back here. Here's the hot water, Mrs. Anderson. Oh, thanks, Jughead. Fred, put your feet in that basin and you'll feel much better. Oh, Jughead, will you answer the door, please? Okay, Mrs. Anderson. Oh, Fred, get your shoes and socks off. I, 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 I'm just uh, trying to. It's Betty, Mrs. Anderson. Hello, Mrs. Andrews. Hello. Hello. Is Archie ready to go swimming yet? I... Golly, what's the matter with Mr. Andrews? I got a... Ju- 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 I got a cold. Oh, so, golly. Archie said you had a sunburn. Oh. Hi, Mrs. Andrews. My father had a bad chill last month, and Mother fixed it up in no time. You want me to call and ask her what to use? Betty, that might be a good idea, dear. All right, I'll call right now. All right, dear. Uh, Jug, get Mr. Andrews' shoes and socks off while I wrap this blanket around him. Okay, Mrs. Andrews. Now, wrap this around you nice and tight, dear. Yeah, I will, but, but, but I've never been so cold. I... Hey, Liz. Well, what's the matter, Jughead? Nothing. Huh? But his Mr. Andrews got big feet. Oh, fine. Jughead, never mind how big they are. Get the shoes and socks off. I did. All right. Now, Mrs. Andrews? Did it... Yes, Betty? My mother says the best thing for a chill is a hot water bottle. Oh. oh, dear, I forgot all about that. A hot water bottle is a very good idea. I still have some hot water on the stove. Now, Jug, you get the hot water bottle out of the storage closet, and Betty, you have them fill it. All right, Mrs. Andrews. Come on, Jug. Now, Fred, put your feet in this basin of water. Oh, all right, dear. I will. I... Oh, Mary, that's hot. Well, of course it's hot. It's got to warm you up, yeah, but it doesn't have to burn me up. Fred, it isn't going to burn you up. Oh. Now, get your feet in there. All right, dear. All right. Ah, ah. Mm. Hot. There. Now, how do you feel? I feel better, but I'm still cold. Well, as soon as you get that hot water bottle under that blanket, you'll feel fine. Oh. Get that water bottle, Miss Oh, Davis. good. Fred, take it right under the blanket uh-huh. and hold it close to your chest. All please. right, give it to me. There. Now wrap your blanket around you. I again. will, I will. Stop rid of the hot water bottle, Mrs. Andrews. <laughs> Jughead, you mean that bottle had no stopper in it? Yeah, I guess I forgot. Oh, oh dear. Oh, good grief. Look at that. All over my pants. Fred, you're dripping. Golly! 
Jughead, don't I have enough trouble without your Sam, giving me... Sam, this is no time to start arguing with Jughead. And please stop dripping all over the rug. Mary, I'm not arguing with Jughead, and I can't help dripping. Fred, you can still just step into the basin. If you must drip, drip in there. But I want to go up and get these wet pants off. Fred, you can take them off right here. Why? In front of the kids? Fred, not in front of them. You can put on your bathrobe and then slip your pants off under Well, I just... Now get Mr. Andrews a bathrobe out of that closet. All right, Mr. Andrews. Is all your wealthy story, Mr. Andrews? Well, never mind the apologies. The damage is done. Here's the bathrobe, Mr. Andrews. Uh, I'll put that on, Fred. And then slip your towel. All, all right, Mary. All right. All right. Now, wait till I get the bathrobe. Hold oh, on. Um, here are the pills Mr. Pringle sent over oh. to stop that chill. Oh, hi, Betty. Hello, Archie. Archie, that's fine. Fred, you'll have to take these pills right away, dear. It'll stop your chill. Mary, who's got chills? Who's got chills? Fred, you had a chill a minute ago. Well, I don't have one now. With that blanket and the basin of hot water and a bathrobe and a hot water bottle, I'm burning up again. Huh? Fred, are you sure? Very, I'm positive. Oh, golly, just look at his face. Gee was that? Is that perspiration? He's not defrosting. Oh. <laughs> oh, for pity's sake. Fred, I wonder if you're running a fever. Mary, I am not running a fever. This bathrobe is so hot. Fred, that I... I think you are running a fever. But I'm not. Archie, you run right back to the no. drugstore and tell no. Mr. Pringle your I... father is sweating now after the chills. And what should he take for oh, it? Oh, but, Mom, listen, I've already been to that drugstore twice. Yes, Archie, And I but... still want to go swimming. Archie. And what a way to spend a hot Saturday afternoon <sighs> running back and forth to the drugstore. Archie, all right. I know you want to go swimming, dear, and I know you've been to the drugstore twice, and I'm sorry. But you have to make one more trip, and your father will give you another Mary, quarter. Mary, who'll give him a quarter? Fred, be I... quiet. Now, go ahead, Archie. Gee whiz, okay, Mom. But one more trip, and you'll have to send someone to the drugstore for me. Gee whiz, the store is still jammed. I'll never get to go swimming this way. Why, Archie! Hello. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hi, you old Archie, dear. <laughs> it's awful good to see you all, Archie. Do you? Well, Veronica, my father's got a sunburn, and I have to get some medicine for his fever, and this is about my 40th trip down here. Have you been here long? Oh, no, I just got here, Archie. Good. Then I'll get waited on right after you, but I hope it doesn't take too long. Next. What's the hurry? Well, Jug and Betty and I are going swimming. Why couldn't you all? Yeah. Why? Well, I'm going home to get my bathing suit and go swimming as soon as I get through here. Thanks. She was yard? Uh-huh. Well, listen, Veronica, how about meeting us over at my house, and then you can drive us all out to the lake? Oh, all right, Archie. I'll be glad to. I'll go home right now. Goodbye. Goodbye? But, Veronica, what about the things you wanted to buy? Oh, I didn't want to buy anything, Archie. I just came in to get an ice cream soda, but that can wait. Get a soda? You mean I'm wrong again? Oh, no. <laughs> Mary, will you please tell me why we can't send that boy to the drugstore on a simple errand without having him take all day? Fred, I've no idea. You still feel warm. Mary, I feel like I'm about to boil over. Oh, dear. Well, Fred, I'll get some ice for that foot basin. That'll make you feel much better. I'll help you, Mrs. Adler. Mary, something that'll better make me feel much better and quick. Oh, fine. Jug, will you answer that? Okay, Mr. Andrews. Oh, hello, Jug. Have you brought me here? Not yet, Veronica. It's Veronica, Mr. Andrews. Oh, fine. Hello, Veronica. My goodness. What are you all doing in a bathrobe? Veronica, I am in a bathrobe because I have a bad sunburn, and Mrs. Andrews' home remedies are making it worse. My goodness, you look awful hot. I am hot. I'm burning up. My goodness. My father had an awful sunburn last week, and we fixed it up in two hours. Two hours? Really? What'd you do? Oh, I don't remember, but I'll call Mother and find out. Now, don't bother your mother. I just leave... Oh, fine. Jug, will you answer that, please? Okay, Mr. Andrews. Well, hello, Jughead. Oh, hello, Mr. Warren. It's Mr. Warren, Mr. Andrews. Oh, hello, Mr. Andrews. What are you doing in your bathrobe at this hour of the day? Oh, Mr. Warren, it's a long and gruesome story. 
Suffice to say, I'm sunburned, and I feel like I'm about to melt away. Well, then, you're talking to the right man, Mr. Andrews. Uh, yes, huh? sir. When that old summer sun does its worst, and you want to feel cool and delicious, try a cold craft chocolate malted. The wine that's the best suggestion I've heard all day. I'll have my wife make me one right now. Do that, oh, Mr. Andrews, and you know there are lots of good sound reasons why a craft chocolate flavored malted milk hits the spot. Yes, I know. Oh, Mary! Now, usually, you don't want a heavy meal when the temperatures are ranging in the 90s, but you need nourishment just the same. Uh, oh, Mary! You get plenty of nourishment from a rich, creamy craft chocolate malt. Now, milk is considered to be nature's best food. And yes, it's sir. even more wholesome when you add delicious craft chocolate flavored malt to it. I know it. Oh, man! And because they're so easy to mix, you can enjoy one in a jiffy. Even Jug here mixes one like a professional. Yeah, I'll have my wife mix one right Are now. Are you oh, man? Find, always find craft malted milk on your food dealer's shelf. With luncheons or suppers, between meals, or as a bedtime snack, try a craft malted. I'm going to. Oh, I man! I know you have some, Mr. Andrews. I saw your wife five yesterday. Uh, why don't you take my advice right now and mix a craft chocolate malted? Mr. Warren, look, I've been trying to take your advice for five minutes now. If you'd quit telling me how good craft malted is, I'd find out by tasting it. Oh, all right, Mr. Andrews. You do that. I'll run along. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Warren. Bye, Mr. Warren. Bye, George. That was a good idea. Jug, tell Mrs. Andrews oh, I want to... Thank you. I just spoke to my mother about the sunburn. Oh, Veronica, I forgot you were here. What'd she say? Well, she says the best cure in the world for sunburn is tea leaves. Tea leaves? Veronica, did you say tea leaves? Uh-huh. You put wet tea leaves right on the burn. Veronica, I never heard of anything like that. Well, our doctor told mother about it. The tannic acid in the tea cures the burn and heals the skin. And at the same time, the wet leaves cool you off. And here's the ice. Oh, Veronica, when did you get here? Oh, just a few minutes ago. And our mother says tea leaves are good for a sunburn. Did you ever hear of such nonsense? Well, Fred, of course they are. I forgot all about that. Huh? Tea leaves are the finest thing in the world for a sunburn. Mary, I... Veronica, I'm glad you reminded me of that. Jughead, go get a pot of water and a box of tea. Okay, Miss Payne. Now, Mary, I think you're going too far. Now, Fred, for the last time, a sunburn has to be treated properly, just like any burn. Yeah, but how are you going to put wet tea leaves on me? Well, it's easy. You just stand in that basin again so you won't start dripping tea all over the floor and take your bathrobe off. Stand here in my shorts in front of all these kids? Fred, you don't have to stand here in your shorts. Just lower your bathrobe and wrap it around you like a kind of skirt. Oh, no, Mary. Well, I'm sure you're sunburned in no time, Mr. Fred. Fred, must you always be so difficult? Mary, can I help it if my mother didn't raise me to be a tea bag? <laughs> Fred, never mind the jokes and get into that basin. I... Show me. All right, Mary. But I don't know why I do this. Here's the tea, Mrs. Andrews. And here's the water. Oh, that's fine. I bought some sugar and lemon, too. <laughs> Jughead, we don't need the sugar and lemon. Now, Fred, turn around so we can put these tea leaves on your back. All right, all right, Mary, all right. Put tea leaves on me. Put coffee beans on me for all I care. Just a walking grocery store anyhow. Now, Fred, stop complaining. Doug, you put some tea on Mr. Andrews' chest. Okay. Mary, that stuff's cold. Well, Fred, you said you were hot, didn't you? He doesn't look so hot now. <laughs> Doug, be quiet. Put some on his shoulder, Veronica. All right, Mrs. Andrews. And put some on his arm, Betty. All right, Mrs. Andrews. Boy, I can't figure out whether you've got a low chest or a high stomach. <laughs> Doug, never mind the joke. Fred, stand still. For goodness sake. Mary, how much longer does this go on? This isn't the Boston Tea Party, you know. <laughs> oh, Fred, it's just another minute. There, I'm all through now. How does that feel? Wet and sloppy. <laughs> well, you'll feel much better in just a few minutes. I'll put this dish and this tea back in the kitchen. But Mary, now what do I do? Well, just stand there for a minute and stop complaining. Mary, I am not... To... Oh, good grief. Was that the front door? Yeah, I'll get it. Judge, no, wait a minute. I don't mind, Mr. Andrews. No, but Judge, come back. I can't let anyone see me like this. Fred, I... get back in that basement. But Mary, there's someone at the door. Well, I don't care who's at the door. Well, I... You can't get tea all over the room. Well, Mary, I can't... Your mother, Mrs. Andrews. Oh, your mother. Oh, no. Fred, I... get back in no, that basement. No, no. I can go to see if I can help, Mrs. Andrews. Ah! Judge, <laughs> well, that's Mr. Andrews, Mrs. Jones. He's covered with tea. Mary, I you. Doug, see who that is. Okay, Mrs. Andrews. Doug, no, I can't. It's you to drop in, Mrs. Jones, but I think you'll be all right now. Mary, I've got to... Fred, stay in that basin. Mrs. Copa. Oh, no, Mary, I've got to... Hello, dear. Hello, Mrs. Andrews. I came over to... Mary, Mrs. Copa. 
Mrs. Cooper, I can... Uh, that's my husband, Mrs. Cooper. Mary, I can... Dog answer that. Okay, Mrs. Cooper. Look, what on earth is he got on here? Mrs. Man? Cooper, I... Healy. Mary, please. Mrs. Rogers, Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Oh, no, no. Mother. Oh, Mrs. Andrews, I came over to help you. Oh. oh, no. Is that Mr. Andrews? Mary, please. Oh, oh. Now, just a minute here. Just a minute. Just a minute. Quiet, please. Quiet. Better. Now, listen to me, all of you. This has gone too far. Too far, in fact. Yes, yes Mr. Andrews. Yes, dear. You mean too far. Don't get me quiet. <laughs> now, half an hour ago, I happened to come into this house with a little sunburn. And what happened? My wife gets all excited and starts giving me home remedies. And all these kids start calling their mothers. Then the mothers come over here to help out and find me standing in a basin covered with tea leaves like I was a monkey in a zoo. Now, I appreciate your good intention, but I'll be a lot happier if you'll all forget I have a sunburn. Yes, Mr. Anderson. Yes, dear. It's forgotten. Don't be quiet. <laughs> now, you ladies can just go home again. And you kids can just go swimming as soon as Archie gets back here. And I, for one, have heard all I want to hear about sunburn. I... Ah, here's Archie now. Here's the medicine, Dad. Thank you, Archie, but I don't need it. So you can just take your friends and go swimming right now. Gee, I don't think I'd better, Dad. Huh? I ran back and forth to the drugstore so much. I got an awful sunburn. Sunburn? Oh, Oh, no. This family will be back in just a minute, but first, a few words about one of my most favorite foods, rich, smooth as satin, delicious ice cream. And when that ice cream is made with Kraft Frizz, F-R-I-Z-Z, you know it's good. Frizz is the remarkable new ice cream you make at home. First, add water, mix, and freeze it right in your own refrigerator tray. You can change the flavor of Frizz by simply adding chocolate, peppermint candy, coffee, or fruit as you prepare it. And here's more good news about Frizz. It's economical. One package makes six generous servings of this delicious, rich-tasting ice cream. Your whole family will love this tempting summer dessert. Get Frizz tomorrow from your food dealer. And now back to the Andrews. It's that evening, and Archie seems to have recovered from his sunburn of that afternoon. How do you feel now, son? Gee, pretty good, Mom. It's turning tan already. That vinegar sure works fine. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. It's a shame you didn't go swimming with your friends. Oh, that's okay. I can go some other time. Oh, but that reminds me. They must be back from the beach by now. I think I'll call Veronica for a date tonight. All right, dear. Operator, get me Riverdale 318, please. Maybe we'll go to a movie or something. Hello. Hello, Veronica. This is Archie. Would you like to go to a movie tonight? Oh, I'd love to, Archie, but I can't. I've got an awful sunburn at the beach today. Awful? Oh, no. You've been listening to another transcribed chapter of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Zantel, based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics magazine. Archie was played by Bob Hastings, Jughead by Harlan Stone, Mom and Dad Andrews are played by Alec Yorman and Arthur Q. Bryan. Veronica and Betty by Gloria Mann and Rosemary Wright. Also in the cast was Joan Shea. Music is by George Wright. This program is produced and directed by Kenneth McGregor. Listen next Wednesday night when Kraft Caramel, Kraft Malted Milk, and Frizz again brings you Archie Andrews. Bob Orn speaking. So long. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.